New shooter coverage of NAB 2024 is sponsored by Atomos, B&H Photo Video, and Atlas Lens Co. I'm Eric Nason with NewShooter.com. We're at NAB 2024, and I'm with Jeremy from Atomos. First off, Jeremy, welcome yeah. back. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be back, man. It's really, gotta, really enjoying it. Yeah, it's got to be exciting it for is, you. It is, it is, it is, it and, is. And this is your first big show, right? So this is, this is the energy's this is back. It. This is it. Um, yeah, I've been working on the current products for a couple of years now, separate to being at Atomos. Yeah. And then I was looking at, ah, oh, you know, do a startup, go again, and I'm like, I spent so much on marketing. There's so many people know us, you know. That's so, right. so yeah, it was obvious that I should come back and do it here. Yeah. Well, welcome back. It's great to see you. Thank you. And you know, and we got some really interesting products. Let's start off today with this, uh, the iPhone. Yes, the, the iPhone. It's so, really cool. So this evolved because obviously there's this huge creator economy in the influencer space and shopping channels and kids coming through. They don't know what a ninja is, and so they they go, oh, that is, that influences shots look better than mine and they realize oh they're using a Canon or a Nikon or some right. Sony camera and that's a big lens big sensor camera right. so then they step into the camera world and then they go oh camera world so this is designed to keep them in the phone world while still being able to step up to one of these cameras so the Ninja phone does all the heavy lifting it controls the camera for you on the screen it has all of the wonderful Ninja monitoring features it's all of our HDR knowledge embedded in, and we teamed up with Apple to take the HDMI of the camera, encode it into ProRes, send it into the USB connector on the phone, which is the key because ProRes is smaller than un uncompressed video, and then we send it to the A17 chip, it decodes the ProRes, we tell it it's HDR, it bonks into HDR, 1600 nit, two, two million to one contrast ratio, OLED wonderfulness, yes. which you can see right here. So your highlights are amazing, and it's the best screen that we've ever had our ProRes on, and the cameras look amazing. And you know our screens are at least no 99% as good as that <laughs> on, <laughs> on the other products. There's a little bit of a difference, yeah. um, but the key here is that there it's it was our years of refining ProRes into silicon that then allows it to send it to the phone, and it can also encode H.265 10-bit HDR and send that to the phone, but. ProRes is the better workflow because our app, the Ninja phone app, stores the ProRes in a MOV file while it decodes it to the screen, re-encodes it to H.265 10-bit in the phone, yeah. stores that and or streams at the same time. Yeah, there's so a lot going on. There's a lot going on there. It looks simple. It's like, is yeah. this the same as other things You know, like it? Answer, no. Right. Apple's been heavily involved with us to make sure that it's working really well. It's, there's a lot of tech going on inside this thing. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, not just, you know, put a cable in there, it's passing through. No, no, it's a, it's a 10 nanometer um, ASIC, so it's really, really powerful. It's small, portable, light. It uh, weighs only 94 grams. And we've made this new uh, locking connector system, which we think is, you know, super important for the future of, um, you know, filmmaking on a phone. Yeah. So we're giving that professional kind of bent to, to everything that we've done with this product. So you get a case, so you're fully connected with the phone, and then you just stick it on top of your camera, plug the HDMI in, we give you the USB-C cable and you're away. It, it's three different power options. You've got battery eliminator, a battery, or USB-C. We always charge the phone, so the phone always is powered. It, it's a bit of a revolution, man, seriously. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. It's all in HD, because the camera's doing the 4K, it's doing the raw, heavy lifting. This is to monitor, send, turn around, frame IO, straight to, you know, on here, we've, I'll show you, it's got YouTube Live, Instagram, yeah. straight to our live production system. So it's, yeah. all, it's all been thought of, um, and the users w will have a really nice time using it. And that makes sense. I mean, really, you're, you're using it with a camera that's capable of doing UHD. Yeah. You know, and, and then bumping that HD up to UHD 4K, that's asking a lot from a device, too. That's a lot of data. And USB-C you know, can't handle that. You can't handle yeah? that. Yeah, so that's, that's a limitation now. But at the same time, we could store it here. I decided not to for this first product. One, to make sure that we were hitting the right crowd at the right price. Yeah. You know, it's 399. It's not a huge jump into getting into the professional world. They just bought a nice camera. And it really is speaking to those customers. So there's the social market, right? Then you go into our pro video market and you go, all right, well, actually, this makes a lot of sense yeah. to add on in an ecosystem of ninjas and shoguns and, and other products. but. They all connect together. They all wirelessly sync together. Talking, They're all yeah, frame yeah. accurate. Yeah. It's 
it's a much better solution for those run and gun type of operations, but you still get to stay in the in the ninja world. Fantastic. And now you were saying uh, it's three ninety nine for the module. Yep. And then how much is for the the actual mount? F the Fifty nine bucks for the case, and the case gives you. Obviously, the ecosystem now of being able to mount other things okay. on here. So you can expect us, others, it's an open standard. Anyone can click something on here. So if you wanted to make a rig for your, for your phone uh, okay. shooting, then you can. But at the same time, we've got the locking connector built in. So that lets you plug in the cable and lock it in. Right, and that's always a problem. A lot of cages, just cages in general. Like yeah. People are using with the iPhone, it's hard to get the, the connector into the That's right, so, we, so we've taken care of that on the system of the Ninja. All right, looking good. Thanks for sharing, Jeremy. No problem, cheers.